Over the years, over the last five years, I had a look at the figure. I'm giving an example using coffee. Over the last five years, I had a look at the figures of coffee export and production in this country. More than 90% of the total production is by smallholders, is by the rural people. And with no intervention, no support, not much support. <coughs> That's the same with cocoa. Cocoa as well is the same. Smallholders are, are the ones that are exporting more than 90% of the production in this country. And by saying that, um, what the straight program is doing, targeting the smallholders, targeting the rural communities, communities, which is the way to go. Saying that agriculture in our country will, will really grow. It can. It can really grow if we put direct interventions into the farmers. Support them basically with basic tools. You know, just support them with basic tools, with necessary, with a bit more awareness, with the management, with a bit more management, how to manage the cocoa blocks. Because in Papua New Guinea, more than 80% of our people are rural farmers. They're back in their village and they're doing farming. Like, the figures can show that most of the 90%, uh, above 90% of the production of the export in this country is done by rural Papua New Guineans, the 85%. So by saying that, I mean, we have land and we have the labor. We have land, we have more than 200,000 square kilometers in this country that is good for agriculture. But only less than 10% of it is planted with agriculture. We need, we can rehabilitate it all. We've been, and we have 8 million, we have more than 8 million people in this country. And more than 7 million people are back in the rural places. And they can do these things. They, they basically can pu push this country ahead in terms of agriculture. But basically there is no input. And <clears throat> this is what the government is doing now, our, our current government. And going forward, what the government is doing is trying to bring the door price to the farm gate. And in order to do, bring the door price to the farm gate, we as a government is, uh, are looking at subsidizing the freight subsidy and at the same time subsidizing and stabilizing the price. If the price has to go that low, we need to help assist to stabilize the price. Being Minister for Agriculture sitting here, uh, I have traveled to a few provinces in this country and people are excited. People really wanted to go back. This government is promoting agriculture. That's one of our main um, agenda in this government today is um, we are looking back into agriculture, promoting agriculture, but the only issue, the only, our only problem is uh, there's not been much input into the sector, the direct input. There must be direct input into the sector and, uh, and not, other, not other areas. Uh, and I say it again, the people, our people are hardworking and they will work but we just need to put direct interventions into how to guide them. And once they get good money out of it, they will continue to work. And uh, vanilla in Papua New Guinea and in uh, what's happening up, slowly our vanilla is losing its value because of the quality. Uh, we need to work on that. Thank you very much.